hello traders it's samurai trade here welcome to this members video in this particular recording I'm going to be going through some ideas with you on which are the best Renko range and tick chart time frames to use for day or swing trading particularly focused on day trading now as we do get underway there is a risk in trading of course uh, if you haven't read our disclaimer for a period of time please make so sure you pause the video and read the disclaimer so let's get straight into this I receive a lot of emails from members particularly uh, trying to really work out how to set up their entry chart their anchor chart one and if they're using a third higher time frame how to set up the anchor chart two, what we call the AC2 okay so I'm going to be going through that with you now on top of that traders what I do now have and I'll just quickly show you this now where is it let me just find this here it is here I've got a new day trading terms and abbreviations list here for you so it's very very comprehensive so for my coaching members that are watching this these are all the terms that we actually use and for the standard members our gold members uh, these are the terms that you'll quite often hear me talk about in the recordings and I'll show you where this is posted now always check the dates because I do update uh, uh, these as we go along and we're going to come back to that list in a moment so technically speaking here's what we're looking at doing we're looking at basically trading in the direction of our anchor chart which is represented here by this blue line and we want to be trading trend continuation which is the safest form of trading you can possibly have and as we know the trend is your friend until it ends so eventually we'll get some golden divergence trades so what we're waiting for here is the EC which is our entry chart we're waiting for a pullback a retracement then a trend continuation now we we know that once you start trading your two B's that is where you're getting EMA bounces on one or two high time frames that our accuracy is anywhere between 80 and 90 percent as far as those trades go so it's very very important that you understand the philosophy of the entry chart the anchor chart one and the anchor chart two now for newer traders it may be a little confusing in your early days if you're using a third higher time frame so just leave that out initially until you get it down pat using two time frames but after a period of time it will become second nature and you'll just find trading so much more enjoyable and less stressful when you understand the principle of trading with the trend in the direction of a higher time frame now the handouts that I'm referring to today particularly for new members there is a, a new folder on my Google Drive called chart time frames is at the moment three extensive documents there also we've now got a folder there latest Q&A recorded sessions don't forget to check that that's where I'm posting all the Q&A's now and also Renko charts I've got some very comprehensive if Renko charts are new to you comprehensive uh, videos and handouts here on trading Renko so you'll find those there on my Google Drive likewise the handout that I just showed you there on abbreviations you will find in the latest Q&A recorded session folder so have a look there you'll find it right there so first of all let's discuss the three main trading sessions that we have each day because with these sessions we need to consider the speed of a market during those times which then will affect our stops particularly if you like to put your stop loss above or below a swing a market swing high or low the larger the time frame okay or the quick the markets moving the larger the stop and that is a concern or a consideration particularly with your targets okay like today today's by the way it's the 13th of May 2019 and we've really seen there's a lot of uh, uh, uncertainty with the trade talk so the market closed down we've closed down uh, in the last week I think five percent since the the high so and we've seen around two and a half million contracts trade on the 
uh, on uh, the ES sorry just getting my facts right here in fact and for my members here you know that each day I take a screenshot here of the volume and we can actually see there that we actually had 2.7 and this was before about half an hour before the markets close and just while I'm on here and this really is really a consideration here we know that a week ago the CME released the new micro futures contracts well it's far exceeded their expectations and just getting back to uh, the Google Drive here I've now opened up and I've got to mention this because I just uh, opened this yesterday the e-mini micros have only been open a week I've now opened up a folder called micro e-mini futures where I've uploaded one video I did yesterday and I'm going to be doing some live training videos live in the markets there uh, on the micros but what that's got to do with everything that we're talking about today is this that we can see that on the micros we saw 383,000 contracts on the MES which is the micro ES on the ES we saw 2.7 million plus contracts we typically on a normal day we'd have around one and a half million contracts trade and where that affects the time frame or the chart size that you're using is the speed of the market if say you normally use a 550 tick or a three tick Renko today the market was moving that quickly it was hard to get an order with with a market order you're getting two or three tick slip so these are considerations that you need to take in consideration so when we trade New York we got the highest volume when we're trading futures with the uh, currency markets but the highest volume is London going into New York so when New York closes which has got our highest general volume an hour later it reopens into what we call the globex session which is the Asian session so if you were trading say the ES where I use a 550 tick chart and typically a three tick Renko I have to drop those time frames down so I'll drop down from a, uh, a 550 down to a 144 and generally a three tick Renko down to a two and I'll show you these um, uh, the chart in a moment and what we use there now as we then go into the London session we generally will need to not always but quite often need to increase that time frame because our charts speed up that much more so generally during the Asian session we'll only see around and even into London 10 to 15 percent of the volume that we'll see during New York now you've also got to have a bit of a paradigm shift where as a momentum trader I'm in and out of a trade usually within one sometimes seconds to five minutes usually in New York in Asian the Asian session you might be in a session even into London in a trade sorry between 15 and minutes and one hour at times so some of the other considerations are these uh, the type of trade entry order that you're using now one thing I love about the globex session is generally you can use limit orders okay you can put a limit order on unless you're trading around red flags or something happens and the market really really starts flying uh, you usually don't have to use a market order as quite often something we've got to use during uh, the New York so the type of entry and of course if you want to use a limit usually you want to have a slower chart which means a higher time frame so speed of market is very important sometimes you just need to set it out if it's moving that quickly just sit on hands slippage of course is an issue then with the type of order and the size of a stop can become an issue now as a momentum order uh, trader I should say uh, as always traders by the way these videos are all real and unedited I don't have a script here <laughs> so with a tick chart I'll generally use if I'm trading say a 233 tick I'll have a seven to eight fixed tick size stop so even with slippage I'm not going to increase it any larger than that yet I love to have my stop above or below a swing high or low which we will look at in a moment so all of these are key considerations with some of the formulas I'm about to explain to you so Renko and range charts plot very differently and set up very differently say to time volume and tick charts 
so for the two B's and three B's which are one of the most powerful trading strategies that you'll ever come across okay traders as a new trader focus on the 34 B's but particularly the two B's they take longer to set up which gives you more time to set up and to get ready for the trade <coughs> excuse me and they're an 80 to 90 percent plus trade when you get it down pat don't be surprised to see your win-loss ratio you're around 90 percent so this is why it's important that you understand the relationship between the entry chart and your anchor chart one and eventually your anchor chart two so with the Renko or range chart you want to have a multiplier that is so say if I've got a Renko chart of four ticks on CL and I've got these on charts for you in a moment so we'll just um, I'll just give it to you verbally for a moment so if I've got a four tick Renko which is your typical size chart for trading CL my anchor chart would be a seven tick approximately 1.7 times during the Globex session I will drop that down to a two tick Renko and I'll have a four tick Renko two times just because we can't split and break it down any lower well suppose you could but I really don't want to make it any more any less than four so I've got a two and a four tick now when it comes to volume and time by the way time volume and tick charts we want to have a multiplier of three times so in other words if you were trading with a tick chart of say 200 ticks you would use an anchor chart one of 600 ticks and your highest time frame your AC2 would be uh, uh, 1800 let me get this right so you go 200 600 and then you do the time frame your highest three times higher than your anchor chart one so it'd be two six and eighteen hundred now as an example we've got a very very successful trader that trades the ES and he trades using a 500 tick for his entry chart 1500 for his AC one and two and a half thousand sorry four and a half thousand for his anchor chart two and I will show you that in a moment but what I do want to do is just quickly talk to you about Fibonacci numbers because many of our members hundreds of our members use fib numbers okay so with the fib numbers uh, if you're using say like as I do on CL I use a 233 now is there much difference between a 200 and a 233 uh, well if it's 233 is going to be a fraction slower of course using fib numbers does it really give me a heads up or major advantage I don't know I don't think so but so many of my members use them so how would I use fib numbers and incorporate them it's a lot harder with your range and Renko because you're using lower numbers but with your tick numbers if you're using a 233 tick for say CL my anchor chart as and I'll show you this is a 610 for my time frame three times higher I would use a 1597 approximately three times higher now many of you know rather than use a 610 a fib number I use a 550 tick chart I've been using it for many many years so I'm just sticking with that but uh, if you want to be exact you'd use a 15 sorry a 610 but what you will notice is my anchor chart is a 1597 so approximately three times higher then if you went three times higher than that you would use a 4181 so if you want to use your fib numbers there they are right there so let's have a look at the handout first of all so which one should we go now did I bring this up I've done a number of videos today. I'm not sure if I've shown you this now uh, a lot of these traders for the for my general members here uh, I've got a new cheat sheet out on day trading terms and abbreviations used so this goes over two or three pages every single term you ever hear me use is on these okay so have a look at this and these are uploaded in that uh, new folder that's the first thing but the main one I wanted to show you is this so and this is where some members are getting a little confused so let's talk the Globex session 
I like the four Renko but during the Globex session it's very very slow so you might only get a trade every two three sometimes four hours so that's where you might want to drop down to a, a two Renko so the way my charts are generally set up I will have a four Renko with my Dom my matrix on the one window then I'll have a second window with an anchor chart and I will show you this of 7 and 12 set up okay so I've got an anchor of 7 and 12 now if the markets really slow like and we'll go and have a look in a moment I will drop down to a 2 and the anchor chart I will use so rather than using a 4 and a 7 and 12 I will use a 2 4 and a 7 all right 2 4 and 7 it doesn't have to be exact okay now I'll also use for my tick charts during the globe session an 89 and a 233 if you wanted to have that is an 89 tick and a 233 if you want to have an anchor chart too you would use a 610 a fib number there all right now during New York I'll use a 4 that works really well a full Renko and I'll show you that in a moment and my anchor chart is is 7 and 12 anchor chart 1 is 7 anchor chart 2 so you can see there it's a proxy 1.7 times higher and that's about 1.7 times higher again then my anchor chart there uh, sorry my entry chart on the tick is 233 the anchor chart one is a 610 and you could use say the 1597 if you were using a third high time frame I don't generally worry about that with the tick because I am looking at my 12 tick Renko now why use the combo well as it in general training and in the Q&A's you'll see that of course when we use the tick they just work beautifully together because we can sometimes lose a lot of information because Renko smooths out the chart beautifully but you can miss out on some of your entries and all of that of course if you're a brand new trader with me just go and watch the Renko videos and even with the New York session if it's super super slow just drop down to the two again now with the ES typically on a normal day you could be trading between the 0.5 which is a two tick Renko and a three tick Renko okay so if you would look at a day like today it was really pumping today okay so you could even drop up or, or jump up in size but the problem with that the higher the time frame the larger the stop okay so typically and during uh, New York I'll be using during New York and the Globex usually I can get away with a 0.5 when we see volumes of uh, you know two million two and a half million I've usually got to jump up to the 0.75 during the Globex session I like a 144 tick and a 377 my entry charts 144 my anchor chart ones 377 and during New York 550 and 1597 now I won't go into uh, all the different types of time frames and markets but in the end it really comes down to is the chart tradable in other words have you got enough time to execute the trade to look for the setup if it's pumping that quickly your matrix is flying you know you're, you're getting slippage whatever you need to generally increase the time frame that you're using and that is sort of explained in some additional videos that I've got in that folder so let's go and have a look at some charts here I'll show you on the charts themselves so first of all uh, let's have a look at this this is a uh, the CL and this is today's uh, trading actually if you look at this so there's some great trades today on CL fairly typical day here uh, and let me just scroll along here just a little bit so we're looking at the four Renko now I won't open up this because this will show you my my matrix and it's and I'm still on the live account and I don't want to show you the general public my or anyone my account number here so we won't bring that up but generally speaking I've got my matrix here for my live chart okay so you'd have that there now over here our stop would go one tick above all right so this is our entry chart of 0 0.04 which is four ticks now just remember to when you set up Renko uh, if you say using uh, Sierra charts and NinjaTrader 
your figures and your entries are or the setup of the chart is different if you're also using MT4 uh, you'll uh, in, with MT4 Renko and range charts don't come standard so make sure you go to the folder on my Google Drive for MT4 and you'll see the link to a vendor or a third-party uh, vendor that sells you can go there I've got no relay I've never I don't know I don't know him personally but for $50 you can buy a lifetime license to his Renko and range charts and we've got a lot of members that the feedback they've given is that it's excellent and his service is good so uh, have a look for the link to that on my Google Drive if you're using MT4 now uh, if we look at this here if you're using a market order and it's really pumping where I like to have my stop above here now with a full Renko anyway with a 2b I'm not in until my third candle so it means I'll end up with a 12 tick stop if the markets really pumping to put my stop one tick above there I might even end up with a 14 or 15 tick stop which is just too high because typically on the full range I'm after between 8 and 12 ticks net if I'm scalping the market want to get out we're after 8 to 12 ticks yes I know we can pick up these runners and use our ATR and the trigger line I know that but still we want to get out and if you're a one lot trader okay you want to generally be taking a fixed target so there if we're in if the markets moving too quickly your stops going to maybe down be down here all right so that's why we've got to really consider the market but typically during London this is a good market and I'll show you some other things on this so just uh, while we're here so 2b then you had a 2 pivot bounce 2b pivot bounce again then you had a 34 t1 okay uh, then you had a, uh, a 2b uh, sorry this is a 34 again t1 nice divergence you had a 3d now this is where our three time frames come into it very very high probability trade now if you look at from there that's from uh, about 1130 you had one winner 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 this is taking every single one winner 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 uh, winner winner we did have some losses you had a loss right there but then you had immediately straight after now this turned into a bet the farm see your divergence traders there's your bet the farm almost double top against your 89 and divergence okay bet the farm thank you then you had a 34 2b again so one loss here all of these are winners now remember this each one of these step downs is two ticks so that's two four six eight ten that tick down 12 ticks hundred and twenty dollars in that move okay so remember our thing three by three yes I can okay oh sorry here let me give this out three by eight yes I can that's uh, 220 a contract just on three trades a day like that so moving along because I want to show you where we drop down and where this philosophy comes into it okay you had a great 2d pivot bounce here again another 2b pivot bounce formed then a bet the farm trade and a pivot bounce okay there you had a here's our next failed trade so you've had two losses I don't run out of how many winners you had there all right moving right along let's look at let's get to the point here what I wanted to show you so now we're in the globe accession okay so there we can see the market close so you had a uh, a 2b on your anchor chart one and two so what is this this is a 200 EMA overshoot when you look at your anchors you you had a 2b on your two higher time frame so do you take that trade every day of the week nice winner nice winner nice winner so during the Globex session I want to have this okay, so if we look at the Globex open today you may notice we've got a two tick and the anchor chart one is a four okay so I will use a two tick what's two times two is four look you might get away with you know with a three but that would make it a multiplier of 1.5 I do prefer to be 1.75 or more so we look at this here we can see up here we had a little 200 overshoot but there is right there you've got a 34 and then we just had set up there a really nice 2d 200 EMA bounce on your anchor and here is a nice 2b now just some feedback 
just want to give you two is it traders something to think about because when you drop down to a two Renko each one of these step ups is only one tick okay so with that uh, particular 34 you had right there one two three four five six seven it touched eight ticks you might have actually got uh, your full eight ticks and just remember when you just touch it it doesn't mean you are filled your two B's will generally give you a better rate of return than your 34s so just think about that so that's your anchor let's now have a look at the ES chart what we've got here and you can't quite see it there it's just off screen this is the ES using a combo of let me just minimize this so here you would be using a 500 what's three times a multiplier on a tick chart of three times higher 1500 what's three times higher than that four and a half thousand right so what you can see there trade is you've got a perfect 3b and look at that as a return very very high probability trend trading strategies okay so if you're a newer trader what you may choose to use if you find it initially too confusing just use an AC one it's you know it'll drop your probabilities down a little but not a whole lot it's still going to be you know a great trade so we can see that we've got a perfect 2b here and it's a pivot bounce so you've got a 2b pivot bounce and look at that as a return is oh gee was that you know that's over $200 in that move if you would use your ATR now as a quick reminder if you don't have an ATR as I've got here and and for my trade station members my my ATR indicator is on my Google Drive under trade station indicators okay you can download it if you don't have it oh and if oh, I've got to mention this I've now had it coded for ninja trader rates so if you go onto my Google Drive in the ninja trader rate folder okay you will find there uh, a folder there I think it's called JG ninja trader rate indicators there you'll find it there so I've now got it for NTA now don't despair if you've got uh, multi charts or any other program Sierra charts etc what you can actually do traders and let me see if I've got it here <coughs> you can actually set up uh, yes I know I don't have this you can set up a parabolic SAR let me just quickly show you this um, I'll just quickly give you a quick heads up I may as well here otherwise I'll get a hundred emails about it so if you go and take a parabolic SAR as many of you know I've got hundreds and hundreds of different indicators but uh, a parabolic SAR is available for virtually every platform free and it'll do exactly the same thing so this parabolic SAR has got a setting of if you go into your inputs of two right so you've got a, a, a limit there of 20 usually or it's but you can see on trade say it's just two and two if I change that zero to to a six okay it will model my ATR almost exactly it's a little hard for you to see there so if you don't have the ATR just drop it down and drop in a parabolic SAR which will do basically the same thing so what we can see here traders is I've got a 500 well you can't really see it there but it's 500 1500 and you'd use a four and a half now let's have a look at the CL chart so with the CL chart I've got a 233 tick a 610 and a 1597 so if you're a tick chart fan you can see there I'm using basically 200 600 then almost 1800 okay so if you wanted to round it down to uh, 200 you use 200 600 <coughs> excuse me 1800 in this particular case I do use the 233 the 610 and the 1597 and what we've got here traders is this perfect 3b right three B's uh, and there's a 3b here's a 2b they're just great trades and it doesn't matter you know what trading day it is I know it's been a fairly good day but look look at that there all right here's a there's a 3b there right there what makes this so good this trade here well look at your anchor chart what's the trend direction on the anchor chart it's heading down now I know it's not on the far right but blind Freddy can see 
can see that um, here we've got a great downtrend look at this anchor chart here okay now also we get a really deep pullback so we've got a great pullback and look at my divergence here I've got great divergence I've got a higher high in price great divergence look at the trend on my anchor chart one and look at the anchor chart two we're looking for shorts that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for short trades right this is where as they say trend uh, fortunes are made trading with the trend look at this here I've got a retracement back here now this is actually a 3b again here is another 3b again all screaming winners then we come down what have I got right here what I've got there is a 2d there's my divergence it's a pivot bounce and it's a 2d traders using your anchor chart one and then eventually going to anchor chart two will make a massive difference to your trading okay if it's not working for you you're just not doing it right you're not putting the time in once again trade is the only place in the world where success comes before work is in the dictionary I get slammed where you know traders still give me shit all the time these strategies don't work traders how can they not work the only way these strategies don't work is if you're getting in say way down here okay and then you get a retracement get stopped if the chart is the right time frame and you're either getting in on a limit order or a market order and you're getting in on these highs and of course entering in after a close under the trigger line okay these are winners and that's why I say traders focus on the two B's to begin with now there's a nice little 34 B right there now what I say to our members is this and I want to pull up something for you just a moment now when you create a compelling future for yourself it's so much easier to master the art to develop the discipline remember trading really the setups are easy you know it, anyone can learn the setups but what really comes down to is mindset is everything this is a game about mindset for setups um, you know blind Freddy can almost see them literally now what we've got and in my coaching program traders and I know many of you that watch this are already in it but with we've got a saying five by five yes I can five by five yes I can and they're your 34 B's quite frankly in your slingshots and whatever with the trend and your two B's uh, and this is on the CL by the way and so I'm assuming here it doesn't matter what market you just change it if you're trading the ES it would be three by six tick trades with the two B's typically we're getting eight to twenty ticks out of those so it'd be three by eight yes I can and as a combo it is taking your 34s and your two B's and even if you've got to get out quicker on a 2B that's over 400 a day per contract now let's remember what this is traders remember on my Google Drive now you can download this it'll calculate and show you what this means to you if you're trading with five thousand dollars averaging just 200 a day now here we're looking at 400 a day just with two B's and 34 B's but if you only go for 200 a day in 16 weeks you've got the potential of earning in excess of 10,000 a week increasing the amount of contracts you trade only when you go from 5,000 to 10 when you go from 10 you start trading additional contract when you're at 15 super super conservative this is the potential so traders make sure that you set up your charts correctly okay with the anchor charts etc now the other consideration what was I going to say there about that okay you can download the spreadsheet there's something else is going to say there um, about your anchor charts we've already gone I can't remember what it is now but traders we've covered a huge amount of information uh, into into uh, today's session now if you've got any questions on them it should be fairly clear make sure you go back to that um, um, my Google Drive okay and you'll find the handouts in that chart time frames now where's oh here we is here it is here that's what I was going to show you the daily target compound spreadsheet okay that's where it is if you want to calculate there if you're averaging 300 a day 400 a day uh, 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 per contract etc uh, and you, you basically I think it's within seven weeks you're 
and that's trading an extra contract after you double your money once again you get a compelling future it makes it that much easier so traders we will wind this up hopefully um, you clearly understand uh, the time frame so if you're on Renko or range you want to have your anchor chart 1.7 times to two times higher than your entry your anchor chart 2 will be 1.75 to two times higher than your anchor chart 1 that's the multiplier three times higher with tick time or volume based you'll generally find that really works don't forget to check uh, in the folder at least once a week for my latest Q&A videos if you still got any real issues just drop me an email but traders it ain't it doesn't have to be exact if it walks like a duck quacks like a duck it's probably a duck meaning close enough is generally good enough the secret is though make sure you're trading with the trend in your early days and of course once you clearly understand how powerful your high time frames is that is where your one two and three D's come into it but that's another video that will get done very shortly thank you traders uh, and you'll hear from me again soon